hello and welcome in this tutorial we will discuss about how zoology is uh, act as an evolutionary process how zoology will help us understanding the uh, evolutionary processes we will study about different type of the seeded species and it will help us in understanding the uh, evolutionary process like uh, seeded species we have two type of species uh, dark root species native to the malawi and africa and other seeded species is pantosa and tanganya africa they have two different type of color patterns and different type of habitats like this one is a dog to fish and this is the pantosa fish in different habitats and uh, this dog tooth fish takes uh, eggs into its mouth for brooding uh, evolutionary relationship or the organic evolution means uh, the genetic change in the genetic material over the period of the times it will help us understand the family relationship and genus relationship between different organisms if they are related to each other they will have um, same genetic makeup if they are unrelated they will have a different type of genetic makeup other body forms in the cichlid species are the scalators cichlid species have two forms one is in which uh, their mouth is to the left side and they will attack the prey from its right side and other are in which the mouth is to the, the left side and will attack the prey on from its right side so prey will be confused and will not judge whether it will be attacked from right side or left side and we will also study about evolutionary relationship of between different um, events taking place and different migration taking place in living organisms like uh, this one is um, lake kivo uh, first of all there were species of the situated species that were migrated from this lake kivo districts and to the lake victoria this one's lake victoria district and also species migrated from the lake tanganyaka to this lake victoria species are uh, other lake malawi species it is also related to it, it, it and they are all related to african subcontinents what happened that about thousands of the years like one lakh years ago most of the species from the cichlid species uh, from the lake kivo transferred to the lake victoria and species and now they are related to one and either another and their genetic makeup is is also related they also occurs they are related to the african river and through african river these species reached the lake victoria later on for 40,000 years ago they were separated from each other by volcanic eruptions and Lake Victoria and Lake Kivo were separated from each other. Now the Lake Kivo have only 15 species and Lake Victoria has its species and about uh, some million, some, some thousand years ago Lake Victoria was completely dried up but it take the species of the shielded because it basin was uh, has had water and it maintained the lake uh, situated species in its basins and this uh, explain us uh, a very rapid evolution that is taking place like more than uh, for, uh, 40,000 ago or 15,000 uh, 15,000 ago in the period of 15,000 and it is a very short period for evolutionary process to occur and these type of evolutionary relationship that are taking so rapidly and we can call it a process or that This process is a specific name that we will discuss uh, about evolutionary plasticity. It is the very rapid phenomena of the evolution is taking place. If we uh, use binomial normal relationship, then the um, organism having uh, common domains uh, are most distinctly related to organism having um, common kingdoms like uh, same species are most closely related and are the same organisms like uh, 
and uh, organisms that have same gene genus are more closely related to one another than having common family and common families are most more closely related to another than order and order are closely related to um, than classes like uh, we will discuss about domestic house flies like house flea and uh, horse fly uh, they have um, common order ditro ditro have common order mus musca domesticus and tabanus opacus has common order ditro and they are more closely related like muscus domesticus and tabanus opacus are more closely related to each other than the tobacus opacus or musca domesticus are related to the perisodus microlapus or the homo sapiens if we talk about later they have more class uh, have same class and same phylum then same kingdoms then we will talk about homo sapiens and the cystid species they have a common phylum and they are most distinctly related to each other though they are more uh, more related to each other than they are related to muscus domesticus or the ta tabanus opacus and so it will also help learn about some evolution relationship and uh, like uh, organism having close relationship with each other are taken and at lower hierarchy like uh, species or genus and organism having more distinctly related genetic material are taken into more upper parts like um, kingdom or domain